come from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination, and he's ready to blow your mind. Okay, you fucking British people. We need to talk about your seedy, shitty kids shows and how they've ruined your fucking children for generations. First, there was this horrible number jack show with these disgusting little creatures and the number taker that scared a ton of kids, apparently. Then you had Mr. Blobby, which got his fucking ass kicked, literally. And now, now we're talking about this. And I have a feeling this won't be the last time we'll talk about a British kids show. Yeah, so this is Mr. Nosy Bonk, and I've been told about him for a little while now, although I've decided not to cover him for the simple fact that, well, I thought Mr. Nosy Bonk wasn't real. Yes, seriously, I thought he was like some creepypasta or something, I don't know, but it turns out he existed. Like, he was in a kid show, and he scared children from all over the UK in the 80s. He belonged to a kid show called Jigsaw. Ironic, huh? Jigsaw was your sort of typical obnoxious kids noise kind of show that was, you know, mostly nonsensical and hardly passing as educational or charming. It's a show mainly about solving puzzles with putting some heavy air quotes there and spelling out words. Every episode they have like one big word that is spelled out an anagram for people at home to solve, which is a fun idea, no doubt. But man, they must think kids are fucking stupid or something because they give the hint to every letter at an agonizing pace. Oh, okay, so it's a K. Hey, with this week's first letter. Oh, kettle. Uh -huh. Kettle drum. Uh -huh. Piano. Uh -uh. Keyboard. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a K. What did you say? Keyboard. That's a yeah, K. A and there's a kilogram of potatoes. What's that? A kilometer. It's far too much yeah, okay, we fucking get it. It's a K, for no, fuck's no, sake, it's a K. Oh, a kitten. Mm. Oh my god, yes, a kitten. K, -k, -k, -k. It's, it starts with a, oh, fuck this. The host of the show is a little jigsaw called Jig, and I gotta be honest, he's kind of fucking freaky looking. He reminds me of Face from Nick Jr., only with a really creepy voice. That's right, a knight. Now this week's word. Get your pencils and papers ready. Here comes the first letter. I get his voice is just like pitch shifted, but it really doesn't help that this is like an old VCR recording of an old show, so I can't tell if the warping is from the voice, or it's caused by the aging of the tape itself, or the effect is just kind of shitty. Either way, it's funky to hear and it's, it's really unsettling. Then we have this cavalcade of dickheads that I'm really not going to focus on. No, seriously, I, I don't want to skirt around it too much. This thing, this, this is what we're talking about. Oh god, he's got a family? <laughs> that means he can breed! He is so fucked beyond belief. What exactly were they thinking when they made this nightmare? He's not even like one of the hosts of the show. He's just a stupid goofy asshole that's on the side goofing about and doing god knows what. I'm sorry, I'm just stupefied. Like, this is straight out of a creepypasta. And when doing research, I, I found that he is in fact involved with multiple creepypastas because he scared that many kids. And other people's videos on him were narrated and performed like they were reading off of a creepypasta. So I figured that the guy was just that, just a made up fictional character like Slenderman or something. Then I've seen the parodies that people have done where they actually treat him like a mass murderer, which to be fair, is fitting with this design, but really muddied the research a lot. A a knife you, 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 a knife you. Yet that only confused me further. Is he or is he not from an actual kids show? Obviously we know that he is now, but even the kids shows has so very little information on it that it's questionable if it ever really existed. Even the Wikipedia article has literally no sources whatsoever attached to any of the statements made. Yes, seriously. All of the sources on this article are just BBC TV Guide entries. What the fuck? Even the one place that had the most information out of any other website that I found had zero info on Mr. Nosy Bonk. 
I'm not fucking kidding. They talk about the other side characters, but not Mr. Nosy Bonk. Fuck. Is any of this even real? What, like, is this from a different dimension? Like, oh god. My research is getting real meta now, so instead of me just questioning reality as it is now structured, let's just focus on Nosy Bonk, because, I mean... God. You know, I, I think I could forgive this design if I understood where the creators were coming from. I mean, even with Jim Henson's creepiest design, Nobody, you can see some of the charm in him. Sure, he's creepy, but he has like a gentle, soft voice. Once again, let's count to ten. One, two, three, four. The thing is, that soft voice is fucking weird coming out of this face. So ultimately, since the design failed, the character failed. And understandably, they scrapped the character altogether after just two showings of the character. Which, you know, good decision all around, but with Mr. Nosy Bonk, they got everything wrong. The design, the character, the, what he does. I swear in more than half of the shorts he's in, he's being chased by the cops. Like, Sarah, I'm fucking, I'm not even joking. He's such a menace to society that he even sicks his fucking groomed children against the cops and, and went against the law. He is a menace. And they stuck to it. They were committed to this fucker because they, I, I, I don't know. I, they, they must have put a lot of resources into that cursed mask or something, but they kept him for nearly the entire show, which lasted around six seasons. Everything about the design is meant to invoke fear in every way possible. Like, they min-maxed his intimidation stat. Right down with the messy hair, the devilish grin, the wide open eyes with the dilated pupils, and the long nose, and even the suit. Yeah, suits, because, you know, kids love suits. Seriously, if anyone out there is planning to make, like, a kid's show someday, please, Please don't make your main character wear a suit. Suits are like a symbol of authority, and that's what grown-ups wear. Kids don't want an authority figure to have fun with them. That's, that's boring and borderline creepy. Seriously, when has anyone in a suit ever been a suitable kids show character? It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Okay, that's... Well, that's fucking cheating, honestly. The things that Mr. Nosy Bonk got up to were pretty weird, ranging from having a picnic to kidnapping kids to, by the way, he did this multiple times, to planting gay flowers that, uh, that's so phallic. Am I wrong for saying that? That is phallic, right? I love this one skit, by the way. It's so ominous. Oh, it's so fucking weird. Seriously, this entire script is just based off of me being angry and confused about this character because it makes no sense. But this one skit, the teacher writes down the word chains on the blackboard. Because, you know, the letter C that's related to, like, whatever puzzle we have going on now. The conundrum, as they call it in the UK. And then Mr. Nosybonk shows up from the darkness and he's like, oh, fuck yeah, chains. Oh, I love chains. You little cunts talking about chains? And he's just watching a bunch of kids in the classroom like a fucking nonce. And he's like, oh, oh, come outside, you little wenches. I'm going to teach you about chains. And these poor groomed kids walk outside and get voluntarily kidnapped by Mr. Nosy Bunk. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Why would you allow this? I actually had someone email me and tell me that Mr. Nosy Bonk is like based off of a Tengu. You know, those mischievous crow-like fuckers with a big nose. And they elaborated that much of his characteristics are similar to a Tengu. And if there were any more info on the show, maybe I could confirm that. But as stated earlier, there's so very little about this show available that I, I can't confirm that, nor really understand if that's true. Hell, most of the show is even considered lost media, despite it lasting six seasons. I guess nobody gave a shit about the show, or maybe they were just too afraid to tape it in case Mr. Nosy Bonk comes and Knife knifes him. So because of this, and the lack of info surrounding the show in general, all I can do is just comment on his appearance. And dude, honestly, all I can say is that he's just plain scary. Like, full stop. There's no interesting lore, there's no notable skits, there's no behind the scenes research that I can do, there's nothing. Sometimes on Traumathon we just get shit that's flat out terrifying. And this is one of those cases when I'm just, like, I'm just at a loss for words when I see him. I hate him. Burn him. Let his show remain lost. Fuck it. In fact, delete all evidence that this fucker ever existed. I'm done. Get him off screen, no more visual aid. Fuck you.